William grabs Meg by the collar as she attempts to usurp George's 500,000 pound fortune aircraft crash that was reported by Harry and Spirit. Don't touch my kid, William yells at Megan, reading, I flew to Australia for a round of military training, and while I was there, I received news that William and Kate had borne their second child, Charlotte. The news that I had become an uncle once again brought me a great deal of joy, but it was inevitable that the journalist would ask me about it during one of the interviews that either took place that day or the next, given that I've been given a fatal prognosis. Well, friend, I couldn't be happier for William and Kate, but I understand that you're farther up in the line of succession and I couldn't be happier for them. Want to know more? Follow the video until the end. After pressing the fifth, the writer discovered that the lineman was no longer even the spare of the spare. To begin, I reasoned that it must be advantageous to be located farther away from the epicenter of a volcano. Second, what kind of monstrosity would it take for someone to be more concerned with themselves and their position in the line of succession at such a time, rather than just being excited about the arrival of new life into the world? A courtier once told me that when you are the fifth or sixth in line, you're just a plain disaster away from being the next king or queen. I couldn't even begin to fathom what it would be like to live like that. Yet, while we're in Australia, at any press conference or interviews that took place, no one ever asked Harry any questions about the Cambridges, and there was never any mention of a plane disaster. If it did, then that interview was either narrated or recorded. But as you can see for yourself, it wasn't genuine. Harry was simply being dishonest. This is Megan's attempt to stay one step ahead of any leaks that may occur. I've heard she's recorded while making the statement so that in the event that a video is really made public, she will have the ability to claim that it was taken out of context, arguing that she was just repeating something to another person. According to what the courtier said, this is not the first time that Megan and Harry have been supposed to be stalking the property in position owned by the University of Cambridge. It's good knowledge that Meghan becomes quite agitated whenever she's required to follow Charlotte and George during royal functions. According to Markle, her children are more intelligent and better handsome than the Cambridge children. Therefore, she has great plans to grab their large fortune and take their position. According to insiders, Meghan has had big plans for quite a little while to take their place and to catch their huge fortune, the whole wealth of Prince George. Where does the third person in the line of succession stand in terms of their fortune? Prince and Princess of Wales have three children, and George is the oldest of the three. This makes him the third member of the Lyon family to sit on the throne of the United Kingdom. His great-grandfather Charles III now holds the position of the King of the United Kingdom. When William is no longer alive, George will succeed him as monarch of the UK and assume the throne from his father, Prince George. What exactly does Prince George stand to inherit? Well, according to the British royal law, the ownership of the Duchy of Cornwall is supposed to be passed down to the oldest child and reigning monarch. Prince George is now the third in line to succeed his father as monarch. Prince George's net worth is expected to be rather substantial given his position as a member of the royal family. In the assets that George would get as an inheritance, there is a total of 133,000 acres of land in the United Kingdom that is worth more than one billion pounds. It is estimated that Prince George's net worth is close to 500,000 British pounds. The royal family has a vast array of properties spread out over the United Kingdom. These assets include country mansions, castles, and palaces. One that you most likely are not familiar with is the Catacomb Park, an estate that is not acquired by the family until the 1970s despite the fact that it was less well-organized than other royal residences. It is nonetheless a house. Seven members of the family over three generations call this huge estate in Gloucestershire home. Charlotte and Prince George are the rightful owners of the property. That's all. Like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.